Mortgage 101 for first time home buyers. If you want to buy a house, you'll need a loan. That's what a mortgage can do for you. Well, mortgages are a mechanism for home buyers to purchase or protect their property by borrowing money from a bank or other financial institution. Getting a mortgage is an important step in buying your first home, and there are various aspects to consider when selecting the best one. While the variety of financing options available to first-time home buyers may seem overwhelming, learning the basics of property financing can save you time and money. This video is going to be a complete guide on a mortgage. We are going to discuss everything from its basics to its types and working. So, continue watching the video until the end to get all the insights from it. First, let's understand what exactly a mortgage is. A mortgage is a sort of loan used to purchase a home. Mortgages allow you to borrow a big amount and repay it at a low interest rate over a certain period. A mortgage's funds can only be used to purchase, refinance, or improve a home. You'll almost certainly need a mortgage to buy a house or a condo, a rental property, or another real estate. Rather than saving up and paying the full purchase price in one single sum, a mortgage loan allows you to purchase a property immediately and pay it down over time. Consider a mortgage to be the equivalent of a car loan. You take out a sizable loan to finance your purchase, then make monthly payments at a fixed interest rate until the loan is paid off. Mortgages come in handy because few people have enough cash on hand to make such a substantial purchase. Instead of paying cash, a mortgage allows you to stretch the expense of your purchase over several years, making it much more reasonable. To understand mortgages, you must know some key terms about mortgages, especially if you are a beginner. Borrower – it is the person who receives a mortgage loan. Lender – a lender is a person or company which gives the mortgage loan. Loan payment – the loan payment is the amount you take out to cover the remaining amount of the rate of purchase. Down payment – it is the payment that the borrower pays to purchase a home. Loan term – the loan term is the number of years you have to pay off your mortgage. In this case of making all payments on schedule each month, your loan debt will vanish. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac These are the government organizations that help most first-time homebuyers. Interest Rate The interest rate is from lending your mortgage lender's profit to you, such as rates of annual percentage of auto and credit card annually. Mortgage rates are determined as the loan amount percentage, or APRs. Types of Mortgages – For First Time Buying Home If we talk about the classifications of mortgages, there are five main types of mortgages that we will discuss. USDA Mortgages – Federal Housing Administration or FHA Mortgages Portfolio Mortgages – VA Mortgages and Conventional Mortgages USDA Mortgages – The United States Department of Agriculture backs USDA loans. This mortgage program provides poor and moderate income borrowers in rural areas with low interest loans with no money down. USDA loans are designed to encourage home ownership in rural and low density areas and are insured by the United States Department of Agriculture. USDA loans are full fledged mortgages with low interest rates. To use the program and buy a home for the area, home purchasers must be of modest means. Federal Housing Administration or FHA mortgages. First-time buyers who don't qualify for a conventional loan can get an FHA loan. FHA loans require only a 3.5% down payment and a credit score of 500. About 10% of first-time home buyers used FHA mortgage loans. They're popular among home buyers who buy multi-unit properties for house hacking. The Federal Housing Administration, or FHA, provides many types of mortgage loan schemes to Americans. A conventional loan requires a larger down payment and is more difficult to authorize than an FHA loan. The FHA loans are perfect for first-time home buyers since they have minimum upfront loan charges, less strict credit criteria, and are less able to put down a minimum of 3%. On the other hand, all FHA borrowers must pay a mortgage insurance premium which is folded into their monthly payments. Mortgage insurance protects the mortgage lender or title holder if a borrower fails on payments, dies, or cannot meet the mortgage's contractual obligations. Portfolio Mortgages Loans made by mortgage lenders and held on their balance sheets are referred to as portfolio loans, i.e., in their portfolios. 
Because government agencies do not support portfolio loans, there is no standard to approve them. Each lender establishes its own set of rules. Portfolio loans, such as jumbo mortgages, are portfolio loans. In general, obtaining a portfolio loan causes above-average earnings and credit. A quick reminder, if you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing, as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. VA Mortgages The Veterans Administration, or VA, of the United States does not originate loans. However, this administration promised mortgages made by licensed lenders. These loan assurances provide the opportunity for veterans to buy home loans at very low interest rates. The Department of Veteran Affairs backs the VA mortgage program. For veterans and service members, these loans make home ownership quite cheap. To be qualified, you must have served in a qualifying capacity. Those who do have access to zero-down, low-interest loans are fortunate. Qualifying for a VA loan is easier than qualifying for a conventional loan in most circumstances. Lenders usually cap the highest VA loan at the same level as conventional mortgage loan limitations. You must first request your ability from the VA before applying for a loan. The VA will offer you an eligibility certificate that you need to be involved in a loan if you are approved. State and local governments and organizations, in addition to these federal loan kinds and programs, sponsor assistance programs to encourage investment or home ownership in specific locations. Conventional Mortgages Home buyers with a salaried or hourly income, some money saved up, and decent credit are usually the best candidates for conventional loans. A 3% down payment is required for conventional loans. Private mortgage insurance, or PMI, may be required for a lesser down payments. 82% of first-time house purchasers use conventional mortgage loans, so you'll probably do the same. In 2022, the maximum conforming loan ceiling for a conventional mortgage will be $647,200. However, it may be higher in high-cost areas. A jumbo loan exceeds this amount and normally has a slightly higher interest rate. These loans are riskier because of the larger amount of money involved. They are less appealing to the secondary market. Underwriting the loan, usually known as a portfolio lender, the lending institution establishes its own rules for non-conforming loans. Non-conforming loans cannot be sold on the secondary market due to regulations. How does a mortgage work? Some factors, such as the state where you buy your house and your FICO credit score, are beyond your control. Other factors, like inflation rates, are beyond your control. All mortgage rates are based on a Wall Street product known as mortgage-backed securities or MBS. Mortgage-backed securities are bonds that trade from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time Monday through Friday. Mortgage rates fluctuate in lockstep with volatile bond prices. Mortgages are available in a variety of shapes and sizes. However, most house buyers choose the same form of loan, a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage or FRM. Furthermore, the majority of home loans are completely amortized. Amortization means that your payments are arranged such that your residence is fully paid off at the end of the loan term. 15-year mortgages and adjustable rate mortgages are two more prominent mortgage alternatives. On the other hand, most house purchasers prefer the longer-term 30-year fixed-rate loan because of its predictability and affordability. It is the first loan type you should look at if you're looking for a mortgage as a first-time home buyer. A mortgage calculator will help you determine how many mortgages you might be eligible for based on your current salary. How is mortgage beneficial? The necessity to come up with hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash is eliminated when you use a mortgage. It also allows homeowners to pay down their mortgages in manageable monthly payments. Furthermore, because house loans are adjustable, you have a lot of experience over the terms of your mortgage and your monthly expenditures. You might also make a small down payment if you don't have much money but want to buy a house soon. Most home buyers can qualify with as little as a 3% to 3.5% down payment. In this situation, your loan amount and payments will be higher, but you will be able to move on to your property and begin paying it off sooner. Each house buyer can look into their mortgage options and pick a financing arrangement that is right for them. However, one of the major, or you can say an obvious disadvantages of taking out a mortgage loan is that you will have to pay a lot of interest to your lender. However, if you want to pay off your mortgage faster, you can make extra payments to the principal each month. The total interest paid throughout the life of the loan will be lower as a result of this technique. 
Mortgage rates are far lower than those other types of borrowing, such as personal loans or credit cards. However, you're paying interest over a very high loan amount over a lengthy period. As a result, the cost piles up. When compared to the alternative of paying cash for a home, a mortgage appears to be a lot more appealing. Mortgages are a great option for people who are not able to make enough money. As a result, taking out a mortgage becomes the best and only option. It isn't desirable to pay interest. However, for the majority of the people, it's a necessary compromise to be able to buy our own homes and reap the personal and financial benefits that come with it. And when it comes to paying their mortgage, you should be careful and make all of your payments on time each month. Moreover, most lenders provide a grace period, which allows you to pay your mortgage payment a few days late as long as it is paid in full. The bank or lender may choose to start the foreclosure procedure if borrowers do not pay their mortgages on time. If this occurs, the bank can seize the property from the buyer and you may be forced to vacate your residence. While most banks want to help homeowners avoid foreclosure, getting back on track can seem impossible for those who have fallen behind on their payments. So, it is better to be on the track to avoid difficulties.